It's Honor from Cerebral Ballsy. Uh, Katie from Skylarkin. Stuart from Mogwai. I'm Christian Guru Murthy from Channel 4 News and... I'm Charlotte Church. We've been gathered here this morning reviewing uh, a load of amazing records and for me, as sort of old git from the news, it's been a real revelation because I've been introduced to some amazing new artists and, and, and really enjoyed uh, the review of all the stuff that I knew. I think everybody coalesced around the best song on the list being Courtney Barnett. Um, Avant Gardner and Courtney is an amazing Australian artist and I think that really influences her work. She's from Melbourne and it's got a very, very laid back, cool vibe and the, the lyrics are amazing. The lyrics are interesting and uh, sort of mysterious and you want to hear more and learn more about her. I really like the factory floor one, uh, just cold and dark, uh, you know, has some artful edge to it. and. Uh, I enjoyed it, just a, a lot different than everything we listen to today. And, you know, I like different, a sucker for objection. The one that is least successful, but only because we all really like the artist, is Lily Allen's current track. We, we don't quite think around this table that she's maybe pulled off the irony um, and the satire that was clearly intended in the song. I think the Lily Allen records was the worst because the music wasn't good and the lyrics were rubbish. It's a great song that I discovered recently by a band called Femme, uh, and the song is called Fever Boy. And if you're talking about like, uh, and, and because the Lily Allen song was on here, and I, I just kept thinking about that song and thinking about if that was Lily Allen's tune, how awesome that would be. It's such a great pop song. Um, the video is really funny as well. They sort of, instead of um, sexualizing themselves, they sort of sexualize a dog when the dog gets to have this bath and there's all slow motion shots of the dog, it's sort of funny. I haven't been able to get past uh, Queen by Janelle Monet and Erica Badu. Um, just like the last minute of it alone, where she really sort of brings it home, it feels like that last minute could be the song of the year for me. I don't know if there's ever really a good or a bad year for music. I think that it kind of depends what you get to hear. Um, there's always people making good music. People always used to talk about how bad the 1980s were, but there was actually amazing records made all the time then. Just depends what you're listening to. I think 2014 is going to be a really interesting year, and 2013 is bringing us to it. I think a bit more rock and roll in the pop landscape is on the way, and that excites me greatly. I think next year might be a better year musically than this year. I think, I think we, we are suffering the lag of caution and uh, lack of investment and fear from record companies and, uh, and I hope that that will be released next year and the year after and things will get better.